adding to the chemistry of fire. Not into the five minute slide program, was it? <laughs> okay, now, your classes of fire, it's easy to classify. All you can do is ask yourself, what's burning? Well, self is very intelligent. They'll come back, well, I got paper, wood, papers, plastic, textiles, gasolines, or fuels, compressed gases, or electrical. This is, this is good, because, hey, then you classify. But you have to be able to classify when you're not collect correctly and classify the fires and we eat the wrong extinction agent, we can have a lot of problems. We definitely don't want that. No way. And you are very limited to your selection of extinction agents, correct? Mm -hmm. Up there. What have you got? You got the halon. And that's it. But halon is is real good. <coughs> it's better than nothing, right? Mm -hmm. It's better than a lot of things. Okay, for class A, all it is is wood, paper, cloth, plastics, textiles, anything will leave an ash and ember, and they're usually deep seated. So what you want to do here is you want to cool it, coat it, and soak it. So what we're going after there on the tetrahedron type thing is what? Water. You're going to cool it. I always cool the fuel below so the temperature and goes out. Okay, your class B fires are your flammable liquids and gases, kerosene. Okay, your <coughs> next one we have is your, is your uh, class C's. It's your energized electrical equipment. And the first thing you want to do there, is, like it says, is avoid shock. The easiest way to do that is what? The energize in it. So we know where it is, we know the switch, we should cut it off, you de-energized it. So what you have done there, you have eliminated the electrical shock probability of it. And this is what we want to do, is keep ourselves basically pretty well safe from it, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Is there an age limit on being an astronaut? <laughs> CO2s first, and then after we, everybody does CO2s, we'll do the dry chems. And after we do that, we'll move on to the hoses. I'll stand right behind All right, go ahead. You get a little recall from it, right? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Pounds of thrust. Whoop, fire. <laughs> That's okay, our bottle's over there. And we'll come up here on the hoses. Okay, now, what you do is rotate this for your various patterns. Okay? We're going to start off with a fog pattern. We're going to have plenty of time to get these regulated before we get into the fire. So we'll start off with a full fog pattern in front of us. Okay, I'm going to be right between you on the first two fires. On the last fire, if you want, you take me in, I'll be behind you. So we did it. Yeah, Thank you. 
Let's try a medium shift and watch it. Uh, let me see this one again. I think that would maybe a little bit too tall. Yeah, because this one kind of it, pulls it up and distorts it a little bit. I think we'll go with the small. Okay. It's like that, huh? Yeah. This turned in more? Okay. Yeah, I guess that's I think he needs to come back toward that me. Is really yeah. Is that alright? Yeah, if you're comfortable. Yeah, I'm going to push the box further out, I think. Okay. No problem. As long as you're fairly comfortable, you're the one who's got to sit there for an hour. Do you have the mold in my hand that you took last time? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, you have flesh colored. The hand, the mold they make of this thing is... Uh, okay, go ahead.
We'll be cutting away this excess that uh, we're getting on the top of his hand and get, getting rid of that. And then we'll Vaseline the entire top area. And once that is completed, uh, we'll pour the second half on top of it, fill up the box with the RTV. And this way we'll be able to separate it when we take it apart. Is that right? Look at some of our uh, ground shots that we were training with mm -hmm. up at the uh, Fort Worth Theater. They even got one that little town rat entrance to the Grand Canyon up there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got a big joint there. I don't remember they had something you put on your heads. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. They injected, they injected stuff. I don't remember how. I don't really don't remember. This one was I've done it. They used to. Is this? I never had the form for the Just Slide her on out. <laughs> I'm pulling. <laughs> This one's a lot tighter than the last one. That bare vacuum. Ah, there. It also took a lot more hair that time. job with uh, greasing that stuff up. I'll take your word for it that that looks like my hand. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come out and look something like that with your thumb straight. Okay. 